Not all shot is made equal and, like with bullet choice, it's vitally important to get it right. If you don't, you'll probably end up with very little on your plate, either because you're undergunned and your target has flown, or run off, or you're overgunned and shredded it like Fred. As a quick shot guide, Andy's going to talk us through his shot selection, starting at the beginning with the biggest we have here, the ones. Ones and twos for the geese, high pheasants, fours and fives, fives anyway, but if they're really tall like up at Bedlstead there, well, I'll use uh, fours up there on some of them, some of the drive. Uh, pigeons, uh, sixes, five and a half sixes, depending on uh, if you're shooting flighty stuff, high flighty stuff, especially when they've been on acorns and that. When they've got a big crop full of acorns, I tend to maybe go to fives then, uh, try and get through the acorns. This is just what Andy is talking about, acorn armour plating. The contents of a pigeon's crop is always fascinating and this one just goes to show that some lateral thinking might be in order to make a good day into a great day. So what about sevens, Andy? Never bother with sevens. Oh. Seven, eights and nines. Clay pigeon shooting, really. Now we can't leave it there. We need to ram home the message. So we have a dead football, thanks to an argument with a blackthorn hedge, and a betting solly shotgun with some ones and crows, normal number six game ball clear pigeon shells. We've got a football there, it's 20 yards. I'm hoping I'm going to hit that, uh, just to see how far it knocks the ball. And then we put something in like a number one and just see the difference in how far it knocks it. Um, be interesting to see. We've got clear pigeon, size six, plastic rod, 32 grams. I hate it. <laughs> right, well that shot has kicked it 11, 11 foot. Oh, here we go. We've got some number ones. There's your pellets. These are serious babies. These are the ones I use on my foxes. These are BBs. BBs, SGs. Bigger the better, really, for foxes. Okay, wish me luck, David. Ready? That's the difference. The, the wallop that that's got, that's not that on. Well, we're going to measure it, but that's not that on twice as far as the number six has done. So, yeah, these. These are the bad boys, these ones, these number ones. So let's go and measure that. Right, one out of tape measure, and that's on 33 feet. That's, that's how far it's kicked it off that, that lump of wood. So there we have it, choose your shells with care. It's not rocket science, but possibly the types of powder are. We'll look at those another time.